Ryanair boss Michael O'Leary has said that Ireland needs an aviation recovery plan. He expects airfares to remain low for the winter, but to rise next year due to strong demand and other airlines going bust. He described the last 18 months as the most traumatic the airline's ever been through. But with restrictions easing, Ryanair boss Michael O'Leary was back in bullish form at this morning's AGM. His optimism is based on a strong travel resurgence, coupled with the arrival of the first of the 210 new Boeing aircraft Ryanair's ordered. This has prompted the company to upgrade passenger growth projections to 225 million by 2026, 50% higher than pre-pandemic levels. But Mr O'Leary warned the rebound here was slower and action is required if Ireland's to capture a fair share of the growth. The airports need more help from the government. We need the government to make a decision. I mean, the one thing we've been critical of Eamon Ryan and transport is there is not an aviation recovery plan yet, despite the fact that a plan has been sitting on his desk for 15 months. Meanwhile, Spain, uh, Portugal, Italy are all out there with recovery plans, reducing taxes on, uh, on aviation. The Ryanair boss also predicted that the airline's employment numbers here in Ireland will be back to pre-pandemic levels by Christmas, rising a further 10% by the summer of next year as traffic gets back to 2019 levels. Mr O'Leary also predicted fares will stay low through the winter, except at peak times before rising. People want, you know, the, the people who haven't seen family for 12, 18 months, they're all travelling back for Christmas. And I think next April, next summer, we will see very strong recovery, both in demand and also in pricing. Experts say Ryanair's optimism is reflective of the wider sector, with capacity back to 70% of pre-pandemic levels. The big question is, what happens 2022? Uh, some of the airlines are less bullish than Ryanair, and that's where the figure that, you know, it will be a conservative, uh, maybe about 80% of where we were in 2019. I do expect it to be higher than that. So finally, some positive projections for an industry that's taken a massive hit from COVID-19. Will Goodbody RTE News.